Hey Capricorn, welcome to your March Tarot reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Check out our other placements for additional messages as this is a general reading. Messages may or may not apply. Just take what resonates and leave what doesn't for the next person. I can be picking up on somebody around you or somebody you could be dealing with, so you might have to swap the roles. And if this reading doesn't resonate right away, it may be something that happens down the line. If you'd like, keep it in your back pocket or you can come back at a later time. We're going to look into what messages may come through for you guys for March or see what you're currently going through or what you can expect for the month coming up. We will get some advice as well as look into your expected timelines all right um i'm gonna be away starting next week i'm going to australia for a month so uploads are probably going to be less frequent just wanted to give you guys a heads up and keep you in the loop in case you're wondering what the hell is going on um and uh yeah so with that being said let's just see what's going on with you guys hope you guys are doing well and uh let's get to it so, messages please for Capricorn, someone rising Venus. Oh, by the way, in Sagittarius' reading, for some reason I kept calling them Capricorn. So I don't know if you guys got like a heavy Saggy placement in your chart or you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but I kept wanting to call them Capricorn. Like there was a couple times like I flat out kept calling them Capricorn. I was like, what the hell? So don't know what that's about, but maybe you're connecting with a Sag. Just letting y'all know. Okay. Anyways, messages please for Capricorn, Summon Rising Venus. For March 2020, any messages please for Capricorn? What's going on with my Capricorns? Show me clearly. Any messages please for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? For March 2020, we have a card that flew out. Oh, we got two. Let's see. We have the Four of Wands and the Page of Wands. A lot of fiery energy. Okay. Let's see what else needs to come out for my Capricorns for March 2020. For the World and the Hangman. Okay. Doing a lot of reflection, doing a lot of healing, and some introspection. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune, and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, some of you could do could be doing a lot of reflection over a past situation, trying to gain some type of insight. Maybe you want closure on a situation that maybe didn't close out the way you wanted it to, or maybe there were some confusions, or just there's something that you're trying to wrap up. You're trying to look at something from a different perspective. You could be reaching out to someone, or there could be good news coming your way i do see your finances are looking fucking spectacular in march so keep working keep that motivation don't quit because it's going to pay off whatever work you've been investing yourself in your pockets are going to be full your wallet's going to be thick okay so just keep working stay consistent you're going to see your results come in now the hangman i do feel like you're doing a lot of healing a lot of reflection and a lot of work on yourself you're trying to look at a situation from a different perspective and with the world something here is wrapping up and something new is starting something is ending and something's beginning and then at the bottom of the deck we had the eight of cup i mean fuck eight of pentacles I, that's weird i said eight of cups so you could have walked away from something in the past maybe and now you're reflecting that situation just saying we do have the six of cups reminiscing thinking about a past situation or past times past treasures happiness that you've experienced you might want to be working on something from your past, just saying, or maybe not, but we'll see when we clarify. But I, I do feel like you're trying to reach a state of stability and trying to heal, forgive yourself and those around you. But yeah, I do feel like there's like this sense of reminiscing or thinking about someone. Someone could be on your mind, or if it's not you, someone could be reminiscing about you, thinking about you, of course, because it can be reversed, but that's what I'm seeing here. So let's clarify. Let's get into this. Let's see what's happening. Um, yeah, so let's go into the hangman and look at what you're trying to see from a different perspective or in a different way, a different light. Tell me about the hangman. You could be dealing with a Pisces, by the way. Tell me about the hangman, please, for Capricorn. Tell me about the hangman, please, for Capricorn. Someone rising Venus for March 2020. Tell me about the hangman, please, for Scorpio. Oh, shit. Wow, I want to call you Scorpio. What is going on, y'all? <laughs> <laughs> you could be dealing with a Scorpio, maybe? Okay, tell me the hangman for Capricorn. Okay, Ten of Wands in the reverse. You want to release yourself from something that has been stressful or on your plate or been on your mind. Something that's been heavy on your heart. Tell me the hangman, please, for Capricorn. The Three of Swords. Oh, yeah, it's been heavy on your heart. What is this card? The King of Pentacles. Okay, so I want to get one more, though, for the hangman. Princess of Swords up in the reverse. So you're at a distance with someone. You may have had someone blocked or someone could have blocked you. But I think you could be potentially wanting to offer something to someone. Something to like rebuild or be friends or just like to be on the same page. Okay. Eight of Swords. 
underneath that and the two of cups okay some of you may have like this could have been like a connection from the past or like maybe a past romantic connection doesn't have to be maybe it's a chance you want to rebuild something or you want to extend this offer to someone that you care about deeply or you have emotions too deeply you feel guilty over something or you feel saddened over an ending or how things went bad in the past something could have went sour and i think you want to offer some type of offer you want to extend some type of offer to rebuild, but you don't know how. And you're kind of getting in your head. You're overanalyzing. You're overthinking. You're maybe unsure of, like, there's no way I could get their forgiveness or there's no way that um, they would ever want to talk to me again because there could have been blocks. They may have you blocked. Maybe you have them blocked. I don't fucking know. Something like that. But there's definitely a choice. The Two of Cups, the Two of Swords, and maybe you're also fearful of rejection. And you're just doing a lot of thinking, a lot of contemplation. And there you are again with the Queen of Pentacles. But now we have a pair. Just saying. I know I'm pulling a fuck ton of cards out, but we have a pair. King to the Queen. So whoever this person is that you're thinking about, and keep in mind, this reading can be reversed. Just letting you know. So if this is not applying to you, this could be how someone views you, okay? and that's the only time I'm going to say it, okay? But there is definitely a connection between you and this person solely connected to whether your worst enemies or best friends, okay? I'm just saying. I'm just letting y'all know. But um, there definitely could be a change if you want, if you reach out with the Ace of Swords, bringing clarity or truth to a situation. But uh, I think somebody may have their guard up with the Nine of Wands towards it. Yeah, look at this. The Nine of Wands and the Eight of Wands. Look at this. Look at this. It's like someone has their guard up. If there was communication, um, hold on. Holy shit. These cards are not staying in my hands. It's like somebody, there's someone reaching out the communication and then whoever's receiving it on this end has their guard up. So there's two different people in this situation. And we also have Death Scorpio. And I called you guys Scorpio by accident. We have the sun though. So, it's a happy ending. Oh my god, <laughs> what is this, a fucking fairy tale? Okay, anyways, um, yeah, I feel like you want to extend some type of offer to rebuild a connection or make some type of change, bring some clarity to a situation, but you're not sure how to do it, but you definitely do want to offer something stable to someone, okay? We also have the King of Pentacles out here, Taurus energy, as well as Capricorn Virgo. Um, I do feel like you're at a distance with someone, you're trying to reflect, you're maybe thinking about how you went wrong, how they went wrong, what you could have done, or what you could have said differently, done differently, whatever, you get what I'm saying? I do feel like there's kind of like regret or upset over how things ended in the past. Whew. I kind of, not going to lie, I kind of want to go into the Six of Cups. All right, I want to go into the Six of Cups. I know it's at the bottom of the deck. I normally don't clarify, but just to give more context to the situation, and you can figure out if this is your reading or not, okay? Tell me the Six of Cups, please, about the past or Capricorn. Tell me the Six of Cups, please, for Capricorn. Tell me the Six of Cups, please, for Capricorn. The Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Deck's upside down. Six of Cups, please, for Capricorn. Seven of Swords, oof. Okay, hold on. Six of Cups, please, for Capricorn. Can I have the Six of Cups, please, for Capricorn? Nine of, nine of Wands. Okay, so the, whoever has their guard up, they have a reason to have their guard up because they were either played in the past or someone did something to hurt this person. Okay, hold on. Six of Cups, please, for Capricorn. Eight of Swords. Yeah, somebody messed up. Someone messed up real bad, but they want to fix it. They want to work on it, but they're not sure how, and they're kind of in contemplation mode, trying to think, come up with a plan before they take this leap of faith. Whatever this leap of faith is, if they were to extend, or if you were to extend, um, you would have to confess something or express how you feel or why you did something or why this happened or like what was going through your mind. And again, there's the the lovers so this is a definite soul tied connection whether your worst enemies or not i do feel like there's definitely like that bond there whether you know it or not or you want to admit it or not but um yeah regarding the six of cups when you're reminiscing about the past you're reminiscing about this person um i feel like in the past there was definitely some type of deception going on here maybe you were playing games or someone was playing games with you um, or wasn't taking the other person very seriously. Therefore, someone has their guard up now because they don't trust the other person. And uh, whoever wants to reach out or sink it, they don't know how because they fucked up real bad with the Eight of Swords. And so they're like, I don't know what to do. I want to talk to them. I want to work things out. But I don't think they want to hear my side of the story. Even though I want to collaborate, fix things, whatever the fuck. So it's quite a pickle. <laughs> it's quite like a ooh, sticky situation. Like, how are you going to get yourself out of this one? Right? Or whoever resonates with this, right? Crosswatcher or whatever but um okay so 
gives us a little con get a little bit more context to the situation i'm sorry i can't speak mercury retrograde has me a little bit fucked up not gonna lie okay Whew, so let's go into the world tell me about the world please for capricorn i think you want to leave the past in the past someone wants to leave the past in the past um you could also be traveling or someone could be traveling even going international with the world you know Tie the world, please, for Capricorn. Capricorn, you guys coming out, Queen of Pentacles. You're very grounded, abundant, focusing on, you know, your finances, your wealth, working really hard, staying determined on your work, your projects, your career, on top of business, getting shit done. Love that. I do feel like you're definitely going to be receiving... Sorry, there's a... My own hair getting in my mouth. Um, I definitely do feel that you guys are reaching a state of abundance and success stability for sure tell me about the world please for capricorn five of swords in reverse okay yeah see an apology you may want to extend some type of apology to someone tell me about the oh and the three of cups see oh my god okay hmm and we have the yeah four pentacles in the bottom of the deck judgment and temperance you want to heal and the world and the Eight of Pentacles, and this is exactly what's here. <laughs> See? You can't tell me the cards ain't lying. You can't tell me, no, this isn't... Okay, well, you can swap the roles, okay? But um, this might not be you, of course. Could be the other person who got fucked over. But that's the case, and this is, like, the person who fucked you over. They're now thinking this, okay? <sighs> yeah. Definitely wanted to come back towards this person, reunite with this person, reconcile. Like, there's all this reconciliation energy, and plus with the retrograde, always brings the past back. It's going to be a theme for a while. I know it's probably going to be repetitive, repetitive-ass readings. I'm sorry. These are the cards that are coming out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What do you want me to do? <laughs> what do you want me to do? I'm just saying. So, Five of Swords in the Universe talks about healing a situation, as well as forgiveness, and resolving issues and putting your differences aside maybe even just like again like at some type of apology in the three of cups reuniting come together celebratory times <sighs> yeah i do feel like you have emotion towards this person or there's definitely like a lot of feels here you want to like it's like you just want to undo whatever you did so that you can go back to the good times you know because you remember the good times reminiscing about the good times you had with this person but you know you kind of fucked it up so he's like well i can't go back to that unless i fix what i've done <sighs> jeez and then all this major arcana judgment temperance four pentacles the world three so first of all the oh Oh my god, there's like a bend in this card. I was like, oh my god, my heart like dropped. I was like, what the fuck? Because there's like a bend. Anyways, it's all good. You haven't released someone. You haven't let someone go. You haven't forgot about them. That's what I heard. You haven't forgotten this person. You still think about this person from time to time. Um, and there's just this desire to rebuild, to fix, to heal a situation. Right? Because temperance is all about healing. You're patient too. You would, you know, you would give it as much time as it needed to like repair the situation but then again judgment second chances reconciliation a second go around and then the world like wrapping up a cycle wrapping up that chapter so we can start something brand new start fresh and i feel like you're very determined about this you would really want to work on this and spend as much time if you could get this person to trust you back again or something like that you could be dealing with sagittarius um we do have capricorn you guys coming out in this card again yeah, it's like you want to end the past and move past whatever happened and start fresh. A clean slate, really. Move to a stable place in this type of relationship. Whether this is a romantic relationship, a friendship, right? So, let's go into the f the Page of Wands. Tell me the Page of Wands. There will be some type of change, though. The Wheel of Fortune, right? There will be some type of change. This reading has been pretty quick to the point. We're only at, like, 15 minutes in. So, like, depending on, like, where we're at, maybe I'll clarify some of these cards. Just saying, because this reading's been a little bit shorter. But it's been straight to the point. It hasn't been confusing. Like, some reading's been so confusing, but you guys, very clear. Tell me about the Page of Wands, please, for Capricorn. Tell me the page of wands, please, for Capricorn. Oh my gosh. What the fuck? What is this? The star. See, there's still hope. And you know what's so weird? You know what's still weird? As I was looking at the page of wands, I heard there's still hope. Or there's still a sense of hope. And I'm like, okay. And 
then this card comes out the star you know having that hope having that faith believing also being authentic expressing even being vulnerable showing your vulnerable side of this person might be a little bit out of your comfort zone but if you truly mean to make things better then you got to do what you got to do and if that means you got to be vulnerable if that means you got to share that raw side of yourself you got to do that if that's what you really want right page of wands two of sword in reverse your mind's made up you made a decision you made up your mind oh wow you could be dealing with aquarius as well or you may have aquarius in your chart tell me about the page of wands please for capricorn okay four of swords yeah you've you've done enough contemplating you've thought about this for quite some time now you're taking that action um the four cups but you're still yeah it's like oh my god you're fearful of rejection and you've contemplated a lot because you're scared to get rejected and this has been such a theme for you guys your last readings or like not the last one but like there's been a few readings like this where it's like fear of rejection fearful of like you know being turned down wanting to come back to someone it's been such a theme oh my god i'm so sorry the readings have been repetitive but that's just the energy that's the cards you see how many times i shuffle like fuck um yeah it's like, even though you're fearful of rejection, you've contemplated, you've waited on this for long enough, it's time to take action, it's time to just shoot your shot. If you get rejected, oh well, at least I tried, I'm going to move forward, at least I tried, I got my closure, and I can let this go. Instead of wondering, what if, what if this, what if I tried, what if I said something, what if, you know, better to at least try it than to like, be left wondering, wow, what if I did this, where would I be today, you know? <sighs> Bottom of the deck, we have the alchemist. Give me a second. The Alchemist, the Fool, and the Six of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune, and the Emperor, and the High Priest in the Reverse. Bitch, what the fuck? <laughs> you see all this major arcana, dude. Uh, this is like, first of all, divinely orchestrated. There's a major change is happening. Wow. Okay, wow. First of all, manifesting. Be aware of your mindset. And this applies to anything. Like, this can be outside of this reading. What you think is what you attract. If you think, yeah, I'm going to get rejected, I'm going to get rejected. If you set yourself up for failure, prepare to fail. Just saying. And that goes to anything. That goes if you want to, you know, you start this business, but you don't work for it, and you prepare that it's going to fail, well, you set yourself up for failure, just like anything else, right? So just keep that in your back pocket. Remind yourself that. Now, in regarding to the spread, right? You could be manifesting this new beginning, right? Energetically trying to... Maybe it's just like... If you've been thinking a lot about this person, they might be thinking about you as well. Just letting you know, because that energetically, right? We had the lovers come out, an energetic tie between you and this person. Anyways, we have the fool out here. So the desire to, you're trying to manifest a new beginning or a way to reach out to this person. Just saying. Then we have the six of cups. So double confirmation note here that you can be reminiscing about this person. Thinking a lot about the times you've had. The good times, memories. Like literally, uh, this card man. <laughs> this card man. Like the way he's, this guy in the distance be like lurking. <laughs> like, like I'm just saying, you know. Could be keeping tabs on this person. No tea, no shade. Nothing wrong with that. Okay. But definitely just think it back to the good times. Or visiting the old times, right? Then we have the Wheel of Fortune wanting some, wanting a change. Instead of thinking about the good times, I want to change. I want more good times or something like that, right? Then we have the Emperor. So finally taking action and going after what you want. Expressing how you feel with the Hanged. I mean the High Priestess. More Piscean energy. You may have heavy Pisces in your chart. I did, Didn't I say that earlier? You might have heavy Pisces in your chart. Yeah, I feel like somebody has like Pisces somewhere. So that's, wow. <laughs> okay sheesh it's like you're very determined 100 percent. it's like you made up your mind and once you make your mind up it's like you're you're stubborn to it you're stuck to it and that's it there's no going back wow damn four of wands please for capricorn tell me about the four of wands please for capricorn summon rising venus for march 2020 tell me about the four of wands please for capricorn Okay, my deck's upside down, flip that, four of wands, please, ooh, mm. nah, I'm not taking this, too many, too many, four of wands, please, for Capricorn, four of wands, please, for Capricorn, someone rising Venus, tell me the four of wands, please, for Capricorn in March 2020, come on, try the four, oh, 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 we got the Prince of Cups, see, you're gonna be reaching out to whoever this person is, it's like, you're, you made up your mind, you're taking that action, 
Tell me about the Four of Wands, please, for Capricorn. Oh, yeah. I mean, you're fucking... You are fearful. Like, you... I, like, well, like, shaking. Like, you got shaky hands or, like, sweaty palms. <laughs> um, but you're going to take the action to reach out. Like, you're fearful. You're not sure if it's going to work. You don't know if it's going to go according to your plan. But you're going to do it anyways. You're like, fuck it. I don't have more... I don't have the time to waste anymore. I've wasted enough. Like, that's literally what I'm hearing. Oh, my God. Two eights. Eighty eight. Bottom of the deck, we have the King of Cups in the reverse, the Four of Pentacles, and this... Oh, wait. My, how did my deck... Okay, no, it's not in the reverse. I thought it was. Then we have the... What the fuck was that? That was so loud. Jeez. Six of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, I do feel like you're a little bit fearful of opening up or being vulnerable because you're scared that, like, either you're going to look stupid or it's not going to work or it's not going to succeed or it's going to be, like, you know... You're almost... You need to release this kind of mindset, okay? Or this could be... Someone could be holding on to a grudge, King of Cups in the reverse and the Queen of Wands in the reverse. Like, there could be someone who's very upset over something that has happened. And, like, they could be holding on to a grudge. Just saying. Yeah, they definitely... Yeah, I think this is more about the person you're trying to reach out to and you're a little bit scared because it's, like, they're intimidating or something. Um, they have their guard up. I do feel like they've <laughs> released you, but, like, we also have the Eight of Pentacles and the Alchemist. So, like, they would be open to possibly working on it if they can get past this, like, trust issue or, like... <sighs> they gotta open up. You gotta make them open up somehow. I don't know how. You're gonna have to, like, do your magic work. <laughs> Not like, well, I guess, my, I don't even mean, like, magic, but I didn't even mean it like that. But maybe some of you do fucking magic. I don't fucking know. Um, yeah, this person just might be a little bit close. I feel like you're gonna reach out to this person. They might be a bit closed off at first, but if you keep trying and you stay persistent and you really, like, show them how honest and how much you mean it, then they'll probably slowly but surely open up. I think this person is just holding on to the past and like what, where it went wrong and like how it failed in the past. Six of Wands in reverse kind of failed, went to shit, was not successful. And so I think this person's very hesitant to open up again, to give it a second chance because they don't want to get fucked over again. So I'm just giving you a little insight on like what this person is feeling. So um, this can also be talking about this person receiving this communication and not sure what to do with it being like froze like not sure what to do they're scared they're all there's like you know scared of getting hurt again being fucked over but like hmm anything else for the four wands just because we're only at, let's see prince of wands in the universe yeah hmm something about like commitment issues or like fearful of like being cheated on or something somebody might have that fear Okay, well, we're going to leave it at that. Now, should I look in the Wheel of Fortune? Let's quickly look into it. We have 23 minutes. Wheel of Fortune, anything regarding the Wheel of Fortune real quick for Capricorn? Wheel of Fortune, please. It's like if you put the work in, tie out the Wheel of Fortune. What are these changes for Capricorn? Two of Cups. <laughs> if you put the work in... I think let's, let's just leave it like that. Five of Pentacles in reverse coming out of the cold. Six of Cups and Judgment. All right, let's leave it like that. Let's leave it like that. Let's leave it like that. If you want it to work, you truly love this person. If you really, if you belong to this person and you mean it, you got to put the work in. You better show it. You better be 100% honest. You just got to speak up and be vulnerable. It's scary, but like you just got to do it. If this person means the, the world to you or whatever the fuck and you really want this to work, you're going to have to really, like, show this person and get them to trust you again because trust, you need that trust. Otherwise, it's not going to work out. So you need to, like, rebuild slowly but surely. But, yeah, Five of Pentacles in reverse, coming out of the cold. Judgment, second chances, reconciliation, sudden change of events, okay? Divine orchestration. Um, six of Cups and the Two of Cups. Dude, come on now. Come on now. That And that's this is clarifying the Wheel of Fortune. So if you go through with this, if you go through with this, it might just work out in your favor. But you got to believe, you got to trust the process and have faith. All right, so let's get some animal oracle cards for some advice as well as some extra messages. And then we'll look into your expected timelines, okay? Wow, quite the reading, y'all. Well, good luck. Hope it works out in your favor and that you do what's best for you. Whatever they might be for you, whatever. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. So, damn. All right, 
Yeah, look at this. Stingray at the bottom of the deck. I haven't even started shuffling, but this is about being stuck at a crossroad. Either staying with the old, the comfortable, or pushing yourself through the unknown and not sure if it's going to work out, but it may be the best damn decision you ever made. So I'm just saying. It's up to you, but it may just work out in your favor, so the universe might be on your side. I'm just saying. <laughs> Any advice or extra messages, please, for Capricorn? Any advice or extra messages, please, for Capricorn for March 2020? Any advice or extra messages, please, for Capricorn, some of our Venus? Any advice or extra messages, please, for Capricorn, some of in Venus for March 2020 regarding this reading? Any advice or extra messages, please, for Capricorn, some of in Venus? So let's do one more. Any advice or extra messages, please, for Capricorn? Any advice or extra messages, please, for Capricorn? Dear, the Divine me um, Feminine, can't even speak. Any messages or advice, please, for Capricorn, Swan, and Cheetah? Yeah, take an action, 100%. Whoa, it's like you're, oh my god, the way these cards come out, look at this, it's like, so the cheetah is more like very masculine, and it's like you're chasing after the feminine, swan is very feminine, and so is deer, and like, it doesn't matter if you're fail, female, what the fuck, <laughs> female or male, excuse me, the retrograde really fucking up my speech, me male, me male, female, jeez, okay, but the way that these cards came out, look at this it's like you're ready to just go you're ready to chase you're ready to do the damn thing right do you see that like you're ready that's honestly what i'm seeing here but let's get into this let's look into the cards let's see the messages and let's just yeah you could be dealing with an earth sign a water sign or a fire sign those are the elements coming out wow this has been a wild reading just saying so the deer, loving, intuitive, graceful, and the mother. The deer represents the feminine aspects of earth energy. This energy is available to all creatures regardless of gender, but is especially potent in new parents. During the first few days, they are fully present, nurturing, and calm. Their inner beauty radiates and adds a sense of grace and Oh my god, fuck off. Okay. So the deer, loving, intuitive, graceful, and the mother. The deer represents the feminine aspects of earth energy. This energy is available to all creatures regardless of gender, but especially potent in new parents. During the first few days, they are fully present, nurturing, and calm. Their inner beauty radiates and a sense of grace calms the room. A deer personality affects others in this way, drawing them toward a quiet tenderness. The deer card may appear when a birth or celebration of a new life draws near or when a situation calls for absolute gentleness and compassion. When in balance, receptive, compassionate, and nurturing. When out of balance, concerned and protective. And to bring in a balance, nature and children. Okay, so first of all, to those who are pregnant or you're given birth or there's like a new family mem little family member, <laughs> um, congratulations. That is some amazing, beautiful, I can't even speak. I'm just like speechless. <laughs> um, second of all, um, if that's not the case, right, this is just about, you know, your intuition and having compassion and being soft and gentle. So if you do end up approaching whoever this person is or if this person approaches you, right, having that compassion, being understanding, taking it slow, being present and just staying calm, remain calm, okay? <sighs> then we have the swan effortless creativity sensitive mystic and elegant power the swan represents heightened creativity in the hindu mythology the goddess the embodiment of language creativity and artistry rides on the back of this gentle creature the swan is ready to take us there to the fluid realm of writing creating and reflecting this potent and healing energy is not to be taken for granted or taken lightly when the swan card appears your soul is calling for attention for some solo time an inner voice is likely to be heard um, an inner vision is likely to be revealed. One in balance, infinite creative power. One out of balance, agitative, snippy, and lacking vision. And to bring into balance some solo time and writing. So again, this is about like you reflecting and thinking. You know, this also is about you know having that creativity, expressing yourself, working on projects, spending some solo time within yourself. But I do feel like this is like a huge chunk of this is like reflecting a lot, healing. Um, where was it? Yeah, this is very healing energy. So you're trying to heal a situation. You're trying to heal yourself from a past situation. 
and um, you're definitely going to need a lot of compassion towards yourself and towards this individual that you may be trying to go towards, right? <clears throat> then we have the cheetah. Solar force, action, achievement, and masculine energy. See, notice how these two cards are more like feminine, creative, and sensitive, and like soft and gentle. Then we have the masculine coming out. Complete opposite. If you look at the colors, this is like greeny blue, right? Just symbolic, right? The green blue, very calm and smooth and earthy, watery, right? And then we and then all of a sudden it turns from green blue to red yellow. The complete opposite color, like fiery, passionate, exciting, let's go get this done, chasing after what you want. Anyways, solar force, action, achievement, and masculine energy. The cheetah is the ebb tone of solar forces at work. The sun doesn't shine onto the cheetah, it shines from inside this great creature and expands outward to brighten the universe. The energy within a cheetah personality is palpable to others. They naturally attract an audience to bear witness to their remarkable achievements. Purpose and passion are the best fuel for cheetah's forward momentum. So if you're lacking in those areas, reconnect to the why before you start running. When in balance, achieves anything and boundless energy. When out of bounds, impatient and competitive. And to bring into balance, reconnect to the purpose. So remember the purpose as to why you're going towards this or why you're taking this leap of faith or why you're making this decision or, you know, where this inspiration comes from, you know, the reason behind it, your intentions, right? And, th and then, you know, whatever you set your mind to, whatever you want, you can achieve it. So, and that applies to anything. Just saying. Whew, so, let's go into your expected timelines. I'm so fucking cold. I'm always cold, man. I can't wait to soak up the fucking sun. Because I live in Canada, right? Little, little story time. Little story time. Not really. But, like, we have not had an actual summer in, like, two years. Last summer, trash. It was raining every fucking day. Then the last that summer before that, we had, like, these forest fires and, like, no sun because it was just thick smoke. So, two summers in a row. No nice weather. Shit cloudy rainy smoky no sun it's been miserable snowy i i just i i'm looking forward to the sun i'm so excited for my trip anyways i'm so sorry i just i'm fucking cold right now <sighs> okay expect the timelines please for capricorn summon rising venus for march what can capricorn expect in the near future expect the timelines please for capricorn summon rising venus for March 2020. What are the expected timelines looking like for Capricorn based off the current energy? What can Capricorn expect in the near future? What can Capricorn expect in the near future? Please show me clearly. What can Capricorn expect in the near future based off the current timelines? Show me clearly. Okay, last shuffle. Just check and make sure. Okay, it's not. Except the timelines, please, for Capricorn, Summon Rising Venus for March 2020. Okay. Two of Cups. <laughs> Two of Cups. The Eight of Pentacles. The Moon. Okay. There's definitely a lot of deep, hidden emotions. Just saying. Expect the timelines, please. Queen of Pentacles, you guys in the center right here. Capricorn energy. Expect the timelines, please, for Capricorn in March. Four of Cups, the Hermit. Expect the timelines, please, for Capricorn. And the Five of Swords in reverse. Yeah, okay. As well as the Five of Cups in reverse. And Fives always be talking about changes. We have two Fives coming out. And the King of Pentacles again. Oh, there's the pair. There's the pair. Okay, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Eight of Swords, a little bit fearful. But behind that, the Sun. Push through your fears, push through the illusions, push through those doubts, those, you know, worrisomes of being rejected or being not good enough. Push through that. And if you really want this, if you really want this, it can work in your favor. I'm just saying. So it's up to you. But if you want this bad enough, you will do it. No matter how uncomfortable you may feel, you can do this. If you set your mind to it, if you put the effort in. Okay, but anyways, so two of cups, you could be coming together with your partner, making the decision to work on things, to collaborate, to give it a second chance, right? If this resonates with you, this whole reading, we have the five of swords in reverse, second chances, forgiving, 
apologies, right? Obviously, I do feel like this you're still going to be contemplating a little bit into the future and then you're going to just be like, fine, fuck it, I'm doing it, I'm going through. Even if I get rejected, even if I'm not, even if this doesn't work out in my favor, even though I don't really know what's yet to come or what to expect, I'm just going to shoot my shot and pray for the best. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. And honestly, Queen of Pentacles with the King of Pentacles, it's looking like a pair, two of cups, solely connected, I can't speak. Um... Did I miss any other card? Queen of Pentacles, again, your finances look solid. I feel like both of you, both individuals in this reading, very solid financially, very stable, very secure within themselves, independent as well. And so it's just a matter of like how you're going to approach this individual, how you want to move about this, how you want to reach out. And um, to think outside the box. Some of you definitely need to think outside the box. You're, feeling, you're getting a little bit too far in your head, right? Five of Cups in reverse, you're definitely going to be getting over any pain, sadness, right um there's that pair but the eight of swords get a little bit in your head overthinking over analyzing when it's really it it will work okay what you're thinking is the right way to approach go for it try it and if it doesn't work well it's just not meant to be and there's something better out there right but you don't know until you try that's all i'm gonna say so i wish you guys the best good luck thank you so much for watching thank you guys so much for 18,000 subscribers and with that being said, I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.